Hello and welcome to a brief text series entitled Good Design is Good Business. This brief video contains a five minute demonstration of collaborative design management with Rational Software Architect Design Manager. Before we turn it over to Jim Canalan, our lead architect for the demonstration on resolving defects faster with design analytics, let's first tell you why you should be interested in this topic. In our short deadlines and projects these days, it's a fact of life that teams need to collaborate on their designs, especially if we're analyzing designs to help resolve defects. However, your teammates may not have all the necessary tools installed on their system to perform that analysis. With RSA Design Manager's web-based design analytics, users have a powerful way to drill down on elements to uncover where problems might occur. These elements may be designs, requirements, or other related information and can help uncover the impact of any potential changes. Designs can also be searched from the centralized server and be associated with the work items to further improve collaboration. The questions you should ask yourself are, how long does it take you to analyze defects and search for their associated designs today? How do you incorporate other aspects of the design in your analysis, whether they're requirements, related design elements, or other defects? When you find design defects, how long does it take you to create and assign a defect associated with that issue? How much time do you spend managing the inventory of changes you make with the work items you're delivering? In this demonstration scenario, we'll introduce Al and Deb. Al is our analyst who will initiate work item from Rational Team Concert, perform the design analytics in Design Manager to find the defect, assess the impact, and then associate that design to the defect and assigns that work item to Deb, the developer. Deb, a user of Rational Software Architect, uses RSA to view that new defect and navigates to the related design and then go ahead and creates a new design component to fix that defect and delivers her changes. Let's now take a look at that demonstration. In this scenario, we start with Al logging into the RTC web uh, app where he notices a recently modified work item. Uh, this work item, the user activity logging on the server is incomplete. It's a defect and he wants to analyze this defect. So he goes to the web interface of Rational Software Architect Design Manager, logs in with his credentials and navigates to the JKE Banking Design Management project. From this project, he's just going to do a search for the keyword server because that's where he thinks that this uh, defect is going to begin. And we open up with a bunch of search results. Uh, Al finds the, the server component that is of interest. Now, Al can look at the properties of this server component, but what he's going to do to help understand this is create a relationship diagram. A relationship diagram starts out with a node that represents the component that he worked with, and we can see all these relationships that are connected to the server. We're going to filter out a few of these relationships because we just want to see the ones that we believe are of interest to tracking down this defect. Some of the relationships are to work items or requirements, and they may require an additional login. The nodes that are listed in red represent a requirement, um, and here's an, another additional requirement that we can examine the uh, hover help with. But for now, let's just take these out of the picture. And we also have a generic link to a web page. Uh, but we want to notice, we want to focus in on this owned operation called timed out and expose just some uh, relationships to that owned operation. And we see a send operation event. And by continuously expanding the relationships to the items that we have in this diagram, we can walk out and display a picture that is of particular interest to what we're looking for right now. So by following these nodes, both internal nodes, external nodes of these resources, we can see that the server is connected eventually to the unsuccessful login interaction and a login unsuccessful diagram, which we can look at the uh, compact rendering for. We're going to open up that login unsuccessful diagram and create a link to the defect 
that we started from and say that this particular diagram is related to that uh, defect. So by using the RTC resource picker, we're going to select the defect, which um, the defect is the enabled or user activity logging in the server is insufficient. And we'll just put a little comment or a description to on the link itself. It says we need to verify the logging activity happens in this scenario. So Al is going to save that new link and uh, go back to the defect. And now that he knows the nature of the defect, he's going to assign it to Deb, the developer, with a medium priority for this particular sprint. Now we're going to shift gears to Deb. Deb is working inside the RSA tool. She sees this new defect has been assigned to her. She opens it up, uh, looks at the links, uh, navigates through the, uh, the link to the design management uh, web interface, sees that the login unsuccessful uh, resource number 449, and we can just do a quick search for that one particular resource here. We can open it up in our Project Explorer so that we can edit this particular resource. So Deb is going to first check out any comments on this particular resource to see if there's anything she has to worry about. Uh, then she's going to add a new lifeline to this diagram. And for now, we'll just create a, a new component for the sake of this demo, um, a new component called log. And then um, in the server side portion of the processing of this login request, we'll create an asynchronous message to the, the logger, which will record the interaction. Deb will save the changes she made. And when she's finished, eventually deliver those changes back to the SCM so that everyone can see. And finally, she'll resolve the work item as fixed.